It's Bernie Goldbach on the 25th of May, 2014, looking in some Sunday papers in Ireland. Audibu.fm, stroke top gold. YouTube, stroke top gold. Front page story in the Sunday Times talks about the Irish elections, battered labor fears for its future. A sidebar, the other, another party called Fianna Foyle, has a story written by Sarah McInerney about Mary Hannafin winning, even though the party told her not to want, more not to run. The official candidate probably won't be permitted back into the party in which she once served as a minister until the end of a disciplinary investigation, but that should go in her favor, I would imagine. Inside this paper, a story about six people dying in the virgin killer's revenge against humanity. John Harlow, George Audemont have the story inside the paper. It's an interesting full-page spread about it. Also inside this paper, Biblical Proportions. An election disaster of biblical proportions. I like the shot of Jackie Healy Ray, a local counselor, former TD. Actually, he still is a TD, isn't he? I'm not sure what he is. Um, ignoring his lunch in the hospital, listening on the radio to reports. I followed it on Twitter, which you could do easily as this unique system of counting paper ballots exists. Paul Manny, who many blog and many good networks, talked about women running for politics or po- political office. Gabriella Monahan writes, women candidates prove their worth if they're given a chance. Point is, research suggests you need to have women accounting for between 30 and 40% before you see any change in decision-making. That's from Claire McGinn, who teaches political geography at NUI Manute. She's been on the television several times making that point. I like this outtake, Ming the Merciless gets my vote. Actually, it's the sound bites coming on the back of the election campaign. Pat Rabbit is one of the ministers and a labor minister in government said, I don't think if John the Baptist was leading the labor party, it would have made a difference. Ming, <laughs> he was upset that the national television didn't have him on before the campaign in the way he wanted. So he criticized old media and RTE, the broadcaster, tweeting, RT frantically reading, ringing my phone. I'm busy. He's going to become a European member of the parliament. Maximum Media goes after the female market. Nam McGarry, pictured on this YouTube clip here, founder of Maximum Media. I also founded Joe.ie, Her.ie, and HerFamily.ie. Finding out it's pretty easy to attract the big spenders, Littlewoods, Nestle, AIB, looking for ways of advertising next to content that's distinctly unserious. We'll be doing stuff maybe that appeals to those advertisers using YMTFM and the youth media team with content they're writing as well as recording. Stakes are high for David Drum as he uh, hears, tells a trial that his lawyer goofed Donald O'Donovan. Donald O'Donovan in the Sunday Independent writes a story. The U.S. has these bankruptcy rules which say if you move money around up to two years prior to when you say you're bankrupt, you need to declare it. He didn't. He didn't declare the money, the massive amounts of money, 372000 in one case, 1000 in another case, moving it week on week when the Irish meltdown happened. He didn't declare it, then he did declare it finally to another, another uh, accounting mechanism. The trustee was kind of confused about that, why he did in one case and not in the other. Um, several people are saying, look, it's fraud when you don't declare it and you sign it. If the judge rules against him, David Drum remains on the hook for millions of euro of debt and the prospect of a U.S. criminal prosecution. Not good. U.S. criminal prosecutions will hurt. We're part of the working poor. John Drennan outlines who that is. The working poor now incorporates the working classes and the middle classes in the private and public sector. Folks who work alongside that are tradesmen, credit staff, small business owners, all the kinds of people who uh, know No matter what the economic indicators say, there's no disposable income at the end of the month that would make things easier. That's how we feel. Water charges, property tax, VAT increase. I will slaughter every blonde I see, is what the video said. John Harlow, George Arbonaut, talks about the retribution video that this crazed killer made. Elliot Roger, a shooter. Uh, went to school at UC Santa Barbara, started shooting at, black, um, at uh, women in his black BMW. 
he's basically saying he's rotted in loneliness. It's not fair, but I will punish you all for it. Going after blondes who are turning him down. And in the Sunday Times, it shows a snap of the cheerleaders of UC Santa Barbara and a picture of the boy when he's younger. It's hard growing up in California when you're unsure of yourself. Finally, my little Nokia phone hits to see. Cool stuff here. I like the stuff that comes through on this Nokia Lumia 1520. Flicker images coming through. And, well, these would come through too if I was following people in Korea. Letters to the lost. More than 200 children from a single school perished when their ferry sank in South Korea. And these are the post-it notes put up around the high school. Big brother, this is your younger sister. It's okay if you get hurt. Please just come back alive. Mom and Dad keep crying. We will wait for you. The notes are placed all around the school, in different places, lockers, steps. And um, they give me pause on this rainy Sunday in Ireland. I'm Bernie, the blown American living in County Chip, top quote on good social networks. Bye for now.